So, <laughs> um, basically, it, the eject scenario is gravity pinball. Right. I mean, it just bounced from this system to that system, picking up speed as it flew by suns, and it's still just cruising. Yeah. So the CO2 rich mix fits a colder and harsher nursery than ours. So it we're, came we're, from deep cold space. We're lucky in the, the Goldilocks zone because yep. all of our planet's rotations are are standardized. They they rotate in a circle and everybody minus their P's and Q's and doesn't get in each other's way. Right. And some galaxies weren't so lucky. And they smashed into each other and now boom. <laughs> right. They had a bad day. So why are the astronomers freaking out, but in a good way? It's the first interstellar comet we can study with, uh, with the, telemet the new telemetry that we have that we're able to tell what its composition is and all that good stuff. It's the mm. first interstellar one that's come by since yeah. all that new technology. That we can see with the web, the Hubble, and the sphere all at the same time looking at one object. So you have um, radial spectrometers, you have infrared, you can do all the different scans at the same exact time. Yep. That's the first time that's ever happened. It's really cool. And also because of the, the, the weird chemistry makeup. Right. It's it's way off the bell curve from where we would normally see something like this. Yeah. You know, so it makes for an odd origin story. And it offers a lab for comet physics under truly alien conditions. 